What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be playing The Stanley Parable. <coughs> yes, I know this game is old, but I have never played it. I've seen other people play it a long time ago, so I don't remember what any of the endings are. So, make sure to, and make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and leave a comment if you want to see me get the other endings of this game, because... I honestly want to do that, so just let me know if you guys want to see that. Let's begin. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a- Yeah, I'm not gonna sit through that whole thing. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Maybe Stanley has missed a memo. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. That is a nice. That, oh, that's a, that is a nice picture for the time. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Go crazy! Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud to nobody. He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, pulling books off the shelf, looking behind paintings, desperate for clues to his situation. But his attention was caught by a keypad behind the boss's desk. What could its purpose be? In fact, this keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay buried below his feet, and so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Uh, two, eight, five. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct I did code it. by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. What is this? Is this like a warehouse? Ugh. <sighs> Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Okay. Nice. I'm being mind control. Well. Was. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What's what horrible mean? secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Could be used for uh, uh, military base. Probably is a military base, MK Ultra or something like that. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This would be soul crushing as a job. Just saying. Just... 
This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad, or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life, for he would dismantle the controls once and for all. I wonder who's actually behind all of this. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty was it over? Yes! He had won! He had defeated the machine! Unshackled himself from someone else's command! Yeah. Yeah, Freedom was mere moments away! And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him, for it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Ah! I beat the game. Uh -oh. So... All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. <coughs> okay, so... This is gonna be the end of the video. So if you guys want to see me do a part two... Make sure to smash that like button... With your fist... In the face. So smash it. Actually, no. Punch it! 
in the face with all your might. Smash that like button. And, and this is Scrappy Gaming, and I am out.